Hi everybody, welcome to Storytellers of Mallorca. Another wonderful guest with us today, Clarice. And she's going to be sharing her time and her energies and what brought her to Mallorca in a moment. But before we start, a big thank you out to Cher at webdesignshare.com for all the wonderful work that she's been uh, helping me with my website and promoting myself as well. So thank you, Cher. And again, uh, as always, please like, share, subscribe. Um, that would be wonderful. Hey, welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me to your podcast yeah, today. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lovely. beautiful day in Mallorca. It is a beautiful day in Mallorca and you've got a beautiful office and a lovely location which we'll get on to in a, in a little while. But um, how long have you been here? So I've been in Mallorca for 20 years now. Okay. I'm born and bred in London, Chelsea. Yes. I left Mallorca, uh, Chelsea, to come to Mallorca 20 years ago because I came on a family holiday okay. with my mother. We fell in love with the island, of course, as yes. soon as we came over. We did think about it for a few years before we decided to actually move. Obviously, it's a very big step to move to Mallorca, yeah. especially from London. Yeah. So, after a lot of thought, we decided to move. It was the best thing we ever did in our life. Yeah. We never we never looked back. London is a beautiful city, but it's just not New York. No. You know, no. so. No, 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 no. So um, when you when you first arrived, New York would have changed a little bit over the over the last, very last much little so. while, yes. Yes. Yeah. New York was very different twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. It's still touristy like it was twenty years ago, but there's a lot of modern buildings now. Mm. Things have changed quite a lot. Even the clientele that come to New York are very different nowadays. So it's still a beautiful place. So I would highly recommend it. Yeah, good, yes. good, good, good. And when you when you first arrived here, did you have trouble finding work or making friends? I did. At first, it was a struggle. You have to obviously adapt to each culture, mm -hmm. learn the language. <laughs> very important to learn the Spanish language. Yeah. It was a struggle to adapt uh, with the Spanish culture at first, but after a year or two, mm -hmm. I did start to pick up the lingo, as they call it. <laughs> now I'm bilingual, I can speak both languages fluently, which has opened a lot of doors for me. Right. When I first came over, I didn't speak any Spanish. Okay. I went to a private English school first mm -hmm. in Port House, and then I went to a private Spanish school after that which slowly guided me into Spanish. And I highly recommend that anybody that lives on the island learns how to speak Spanish. It's sure. very important. Sure, sure. Very important. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's depending on the industry or the jobs and the work that you have, especially the yachting industry that I was a part of, um, they speak a lot of English, but you still need that, that Spanish language, don't you? I mean, it's so important you know, with what we're doing. So, it, is. You know. it is. This is the problem that uh, I think a lot of expats have. It's so uh, international, Mallorca. Mm -hmm. We have so many different nationalities living here, yeah. which is what makes it a beautiful place as well. Yes. We're very international. So at the same time, this uh, can go against <laughs> the expats to obviously learn Spanish because sure. everybody does speak English, but it's important to have that Spanish. Yes, yes, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that, back to that first, you know, that first time that you came over here, what really drew you, what made you think, wow, I want to live here? The beauty of the island. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful island, especially the day-to-day -day lifestyle is very different to London. In London, you don't have these, these beautiful days, you don't have the people that are in such a cheerful mood every day. It makes such a difference to live in a beautiful place yeah. with a beautiful sunshine. And London is very stressful to live in. And I think this is why a lot of people are trying to get out of London and trying to move abroad. There are more opportunities in some sectors in London. However, it's very international in Bjorka and it can open a lot of doors as well. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, for my time, I, I did six years in London and uh, it's, uh, it was an interesting time. I was a lot younger of and course. it had a lot of fun. Yeah. Which, are, which, is, which is always good, but it comes to, to some time where you think, okay, well, you know, we've got to, we can't live here the rest of our lives. The prices were going up even oh, then, and, and now it's even worse. So, you know, and why, you know, myself has ended up here in New Yorker, like you, for a lot of the similar reasons. Of course. Yeah. For a better life. 
just for a better quality of life. Yes. As you're saying, in London, the house prices are so expensive. Over here, they are dear as well, but you mm -hmm. can buy something, obviously, right. a house with a pool and a garden. <laughs> for the same price, you can buy an apartment in yeah. London for. So yes, yes. it's the pros and cons at the end of the day. So yeah, 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 no, no, it is. And then the money, if you do have property in, in the UK or London and you sold it, mm -hmm. Um, then you could come here uh, with that sort of money to, and, and have a nice place. Exactly. So, you know, the, the difference in the exchange rate and everything else almost it works in your Big favor. Influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you were here, when you've been here, what were some of the, the struggles or the challenges that you had adapting here? What was a couple adapting? Of I would say at first it was definitely the language. <laughs> it was definitely the language, even though a lot of people can speak uh, English. Mixing with the local Spanish people, uh, it's not as easy. Mm -hmm. Also, I think as well, coming from London, it is a very different lifestyle over here. So it is important as well to stay in touch with the family. At the same time, make new friends. Job-wise, I would say, at first I started off in hospitality. Mm -hmm. So I've worked my way up from being a waitress to a bar manager mm -hmm. and a restaurant manager. I found that was a bit of a struggle when it used to come to the winter season. Right. It's very seasonal, obviously, in Mallorca. Yes, so yes. it's important to have a job all year around mm. to be able to survive all year around. Yeah. This, this, is, this, this is the main struggle that yes. I had at the beginning. Yes. Therefore, I seek to all year job that I can work all year. Mm -hmm. And this is why I went into real estate. I did my own uh, real estate university course to do a real estate license. Yes. So I do have my real estate license, yes. I'm fully qualified. This is a very important step in my life mm. to get me where I am today. Yeah. So it's very important to have an all year round a job. Yes, yeah. that's what I highly recommend. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. So let's carry on from that. So you, you, we've delved into that uh, in a couple of sentences here. You have now your own Mobile area. I do um, have real estate. In Mobilaria. Yeah, and we're in this beautiful place here in Porto P, which is so central. It is a, it's a lovely area as well, isn't it? It is, it is, it is. And we're so close to the luxurious port of Paseo Maritimo. Yes. At the same time, we're five minutes away from Calvia. So you're just in the middle of everything. Yeah, and it's just off the motorway. It is very easy access it's, to yeah. get on the motorway. Also, uh, they're doing Club de Mar. Up just across the road, yes, so it's yes. going to it's going to change a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's enormous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen what they what they what they're doing or anything? Or? Yes, it should be finished uh, this time next year. It okay. should be finished. They're also going to be doing a lot of commercial properties. Okay. There's going to be there, so there's going to be a lot of restaurants, bars, right. boutiques. So it's going to be very different. Yeah. Very yeah. elegant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and coming from London and doing your real estate here with people coming in to see you, is there a certain type of clientele that you find that you're attracting or is it just a general? Very good question, Jamie. <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> well, I must say, before we change the camera over, but the office has only been open now for how long? The office has been open for two months now. Yay! Yes! Two <laughs> it's, um, it's been all hands on deck, as yes. we say, yes. <laughs> to get yes. it open, the renovation, and it's looking beautiful. Yeah. However, I was in, seven, uh, in real estate for seven years prior to opening my own real estate agency, so thanks to that, I do have my own clientele. Right. And I also have the experience to back up yes, <laughs> back yes. with that clientele. However, I do have properties for everybody. Right. I don't just specialize in luxury properties mm -hmm. or just in your normal properties. I, I have a little bit of everything on my books so that yeah. we can suit everybody's needs. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. 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 And, and besides that, setting up a business here in Spain, I mean, I, I've heard that some people have had quite big challenges doing it that. Is. But then again, it doesn't have to be if you come with the right approach or the right help. How, how did you find that? Exactly. Thanks to my knowledge of real estate, I didn't struggle at all. Okay. Luckily, because I do, I do sell um, commercial properties as well, so I am very used to selling businesses. So this wasn't a difficult situation for me. Right. However, I do encounter many clients that struggle because they have not been informed correctly. Yes. And this is where I come along. <laughs> right. And make everything a lot easier for yes. them. And yes. A, yes. it's a peaceful process because if, when you're opening a business, if you don't start off with the right procedures, mm -hmm. it can become very stressful yeah. and very expensive. 
Yes. And also time consuming. Yes, yes. So it's important to always have a good lawyer, a good real estate agency, and they will guide you through the whole process. Sure, and an accountant. And as, well, as well, and a good accountant yes. as well. Very important. Yeah. yeah. Very important. Yeah. Was there a time when you felt this was, you, you didn't want to be here, or have you just faced each challenge the way that I can imagine you would and just, just get through it? Yes, there has been times where. I would say it was more at the beginning when I came over. In the first year or two, I wasn't very sure if I wanted to stay. Mm. I had to get my bearings, settle in. But it was definitely worth it. I'd never go back and live in London, so yeah, no. <laughs> I'm very happy here. And I have a passion for real estate. I'm very happy. Yeah. We've just opened a new business. Yes, yes. yes. So everything's going very well. Yeah, and what's the name of it? Zen Homes Mallorca. Zen Homes Mallorca. Zen Homes Mallorca. Straight across the road from, from Porto P. So, indeed, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Great location. We've also got public transport across the road. And there's also a two hour free parking in Porto P, so it's very easy to get to. Yes, yeah, yeah. And being here, being here in Mallorca, I mean, I've met your family. Yes, you yeah. have. <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> really lovely, lovely, lovely people. Um, and they, they have the opportunity, obviously, to come over here. They and, do. Re- and they make the most of it. They do, they, they do. They, they, <laughs> a few holidays a year, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're very happy with the new office, and it's lovely just to, London's only two hours away yes. from flight, so yeah. it's, it's worth it. Yeah. to come over as often as they can yeah. and enjoy Mallorca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what else do you love about here being in Mallorca? What, what, what else? I mean, you know, we talk about the food, the outdoors. What is it for you? I love the selection of the different uh, cultures that you can here in Mallorca. There is also a high variety of different markets that you can go to. There's also a lot of water sports that we can do over here. A lot of, a lot of yachting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's just a beautiful place where you can do many different things and explore the island. Yes. And you never get bored. Yeah. No. Never get bored. There's always something going on in Mallorca. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's a very special place. It really is. Yeah. And and where you are here as well. I mean, you've got. Um, Portals, port, portals yes. which is quite a one of the glamorous areas of, of, of New York. Very sought after area. Very, very much so. Um, then you've also got uh, the old town. Indeed. Which again is, is the same sort of distance away, maybe a bit less. So it's it all very handy, isn't it? It is. It's 15 minutes away from the old town, 15 minutes from Port Townsend. This is the beauty of exactly where I'm located. I'm in the middle of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's 10 minutes or 15 minutes yeah. away. <laughs> Which is great. Yeah. It's great. And and the food, how did you get on adjusting your diet to the Mediterranean lifestyle? Did you find it was just a... a I did find it a struggle at the beginning, yes. Okay, why? I did. In what way? I did. I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> you and the fish and chip type of girl on a Friday night. We, <laughs> <laughs> we did miss our fish and chips, oh, yes. <laughs> For a few weeks. The, uh, the English diet is it's not Mediterranean diet, no, unfortunately, no. so... I adapted a few years later, it took me to adapt. I have adapted fully to the Mediterranean diet right now, but it is very difficult at the beginning, yes, yeah. you know. Uh, it takes a while. Yeah, <laughs> it takes yeah, a while. yeah. Yeah, the diets vary, and you think, okay, the Spanish diet to the, to the English diet wouldn't be that different, but if you're coming here, you can't eat totally English food if you oh, want you to, but that's not part of what we want to be here for. Though, no, it? this is what we've come here for, to yeah. experience the Mediterranean life, yes. the diet, yes. enjoy those sea views. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. but it's not easy, it's not easy to adapt, but once you have adapted, it's, it's worth it. Yeah. It really is worth the move. It's not an easy move to make, obviously no. moving abroad, mm-hmm. you have to think things through carefully, yes. do your homework, yes. highly recommend to do your homework, yeah. don't just run and jump. But on that no, way, no. because especially since Brexit, things are very different now. Yes. So it is important to have everything very clear, speak to a lawyer so they can assess you in the right way. Yeah, okay. yeah. And, and in a way, don't make it don't make it a rush situation. Exactly. You need to come here and stay here, holiday here, live here, and look at the seasons because we know what it's like. Very different. From, from yeah, from yes. season to season here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After Halloween, everything is closed. Yep. The Calvary area is a ghost town, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's important that people that do want to make that move that you are aware that yes. it's very easy to come yeah. unless you're living in Palmer City Centre or you know different places. It, a 
bit closer in it's, it's very yeah. seasonal but sometimes that's a great thing after having a, sure. a very busy <laughs> noisy season it, it's lovely to have that piece of quiet yeah. as well at the same time but just yeah. job wise it's no. you have to be aware of it yeah for sure and what do you think what made makes your story a little bit different well <laughs> What makes my story a little bit different? I would say, uh, due to the experiences that I've had to have on this island, mm -hmm. I did have a struggle when I first moved here, when the recession came in 2008. My family did go through a financial situation, but that shaped me to the person I am today. Yes. Uh, so I did start working at a very young age, while I was still studying. Yep. Uh, that's why I would make my experience very different to anybody else's. Yes. I had to work very hard to get where I am today. But I wouldn't change anything for the world. No, it's no. made me the person I am today, and yeah. here I am. I've just opened my first business, and yes. it's yeah. going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, and you're doing well already. I'm As you said really before, well. so this is wonderful. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I am. Yeah. It's all about the hard work. Yes. It really is, and obviously it's important to enjoy what you're doing. Sure. I have a grand passion for real estate, so yeah. As long as you enjoy what you're doing, it should be fine. <laughs> That's half the battle, isn't it, really? It is. It is very yeah. important. Yeah. important. Yeah. And to be professional, obviously. Oh, professional and transparent. Yes. If you're not professional and transparent in real estate, yeah. no, it's no. never going to be a successful job. No, no, for sure. Is there uh, one other piece of information or that you like, or, or something you like to say to people that would like to come and live here? Yes. I would definitely say to explore the island, all the different areas before you make that decision because each bit of the island can be very different. Sure. There's the traditional Mallorcan part of the island which is beautiful, yeah. however for some clients that would not be their ideal place to live, I recommend. For example, I'm from London, obviously yes. the city, so yes. I, I'm not a very countryside person. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but that's the beauty of New York, you do have your city busy areas and then you do have your countryside locations. Yes. Yes. You've got both to choose from, the best of both worlds, but it's very important just to have a look at all the areas. Maybe come over a few years in a row, yes. just before you make that decision. Don't rush and make a decision and yeah. just fall in love with the first property you have a look at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though we're real estate, you do need to, you know, yeah. know the area as well. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Because the areas change north, south, east, oh, west to Very the different. centre. All yes. different and all quaint, all they offer something you know, different for all of us here. They do, they do, they do, they do. They're very beautiful areas in Mallorca, but they can all be very different. Sure, 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 sure. No, fantastic. Um, yeah, I just, just think, I mean, it's, it's such a beautiful day outside. You've got a lovely office here. Everything's going well for you. It is, so. it is. The future's looking very bright. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank that's you. fantastic. Um, so, yeah. Clarice, thank you for coming on Storytellers of Mallorca. Thank you for having me. It's no, been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. So um, I will put Clarice's details down below as always. Uh, please like, share and uh, subscribe. And what else do you have to do? Comment now because the algorithms have changed. And big out, shout out to Share again for, for sponsoring and looking after me on the website side. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, aho, namaste, bye for now. Thank you.